Okay, it's great to have the objective-based approach with any you know motor neuron mechanic, whatever that is. Uh, but let's let, let, let's 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 talk a little bit broadly here about um, how accessible our 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 skills, our, our our mechanics are to meet those objectives. And what I mean by this is I, I look at um, this topic as as a little grid, a little little you know three by three axis system, where I'll, I'm hopefully I get a good graphic here. But think about your environment. All right. Think about your environment, um, uh, which you are operating in. Think about your mental state and your in your physical state. All right. The problem I see with um, certain mechanics and, and certain skills and, and, and certain techniques is that they require a lot of people to be warmed up. All right. Um, they require maybe certain equipment and, and a certain mental state. The problem with that is, let's just think about defensive shooting for a second. We need our skills to be there when we are unwarmed up, all right? That's not like basketball or hockey or the batting cages or golf or anything like that. Everything else we warm up, any motor neuron mechanic, any you know, physical skill we warm up. Pistol craft isn't like that. We have to have these skills unwarmed up. Also, um, another rabbit hole I see people get into is getting really specific with their equipment. It's maybe good to do some mods, but it's really nice to be able to pick up any gun and drive it. If you have specific grip tape and maybe weight and tungsten carbide spring and a two pound trigger, you know, if you have all these techniques and you can perform, like in competitive shooting, this is one of my critiques in competitive shooters, uh, fellow competitive shooters, is is that they get a real narrow performance window there, okay? So my, my point on this is we have to make sure that we have techniques that are very fungible, that are very um, accessible. So we have this big performance volume here. So, you know, in, in any, any mental state, all right, whether we just are tired or, or stressed or, or, or relax, whatever, whatever our mental state is, we can perform. Any physical state, whether even our hands are sweaty or, or we're, we're not warmed up or uncalibrated, I mean, we, we have a big, you know, window of performance there. And then the big one in an environment, whether it's cold outside, whether you have different equipment, you know, whether you have grip tape or not grip tape on your gun or whatever. So we don't have a narrow little performance window. We have a nice, big, broad one. That, those are the skills we want to have. Those are the techniques we want. So our performance window volume here is big, okay? And we're, we're highly capable um, really in any situation.